Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Di here. Essie palette. So, a few days ago, I've had a had a sick granddaughter here, so I haven't been able to move far from the cuddle couch. So we are up to making the cover. So I decided against the white um, cardstock cover. It just wasn't quite hard enough for my liking. So. Um, with two sheets of 12 by 12 oh, 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 two sheets of 12 by 12 why are we all no 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 out okay so I'm going to join two sheets together so I've just put some of that red tape and I'm going to run some glue on there as well. The red tape is just to get that instant connection and oh, oops, oops, oops. Add a bit of glue. Now I use the top of my um, scoreboard to line them up so that we get a nice straight Oop. and I'll go crooked straight away a nice straight connection alrighty so this is what we're going to wrap our chipboard in so I still end up with a white um, I still end up with a white cover but we have this chipboard on the inside so just gonna move it up we want about an inch yeah about an inch Beautiful. So let's glue this on. spread the glue out so we don't end up with lumps everywhere and we'll glue this one down leave a gap of about oh, an eighth of an inch I suppose My granddaughter is off to trick-or-treating tonight 
and out of all the beautiful fairy costumes and everything unicorns that she has she wants to be a um, what did she call it? I call it a scary fairy. Um, she wants to be a terrible Tinkerbell or something like that. So I just made her a wand that's black and it has bats and spiders and flies and cockroaches and big tarantula on it and I wrapped it in lights and she loves it absolutely loves it My granddaughter has uh, given me half a manicure. Oh, I didn't take it off. Whoops. Alright. So. Just going to. Where is that fold? trim off. I'll be out of shot for this for a minute. I don't have to worry about this being straight because it's going to be covered anyway. Train this paper up a bit. some of that tape around find where I put it just so it grabs it um, quickly to hold it while the glue dries so I'll just run a bit of tape around the outside edge of that white paper yep. 
that out. Let's burnish that down so it gets a good grip. And I will repeat myself, I do not use um, double sided tape without glue. It will not hold, it will dry out. That's why I always use glue with it. So let's take it off. Oh, that glue is not going to work. Alrighty, start at the centre. Well, I always start at the centre and work your way out. Start at the center again. in and I will have to use just normal double sided tape for now because my other roll of red tape is in the other room Fold those little corners in. Okay, so that gives us our cover.
beautiful nice beautiful color so now we want to make the um, pages and we want to make the um, gusset uh, the gusset the hinge system for the pages so we're going to make four solid pages and we'll also have two signatures one in the front one in the back and then four solid pages maybe two solid pages um, I'll have to have a think about that so we need goodness me we need a sheet of paper sheet of cardstock So what we need to do is make hinges for the pages to sit on. So we're going to get the scoreboard out. And we're going to go, so we want half an inch, then a hinge, half an inch, then a hinge. So we'll go two pages and that'll give us room to put in two signatures. Alrighty, so we want room for the paper to glue on to either side so I'll go two inch and then you want a half an inch gusset and then you want half an inch half an inch which will be our hinge then you want half an inch gusset and then half an inch half an inch will be our second hinge then half an inch gusset and then we want two inches so that will be five six and a half seven and a half seven and a half will cut off it there Just cut that a little bit off. Alrighty, so we're going to fold back that first bit. Let's fold that one back. So there is our half inch gusset to start and then we're going to fold this one up. It will all make sense in a moment. Fold this one back. So there's our first hinge going to have another half inch gusset and then we're going to have our second hinge so there's our two hinges and then we've got a half inch gusset and the rest we'll glue in so that will spread across we're too high here so we need to cut that down to so we want it to sit about there yeah about halfway across there so let's cut that off sitting flat so let's just give you some measurements so the book is eight and three quarters eight and three quarters 
and the hinge piece is eight so that gives us a gap there now we'll put some side of the hinge put a piece of tape that's the second side of the hinge that's the gusset this is the another side of the next hinge So we're just going to lay that down. Don't worry about the glue coming out. Just make sure we've got enough glue on there. That's one. And here's the second one. So there's our hinges, two hinges, and we're going to glue that down. I'm going to glue that down now, or do I want to sew? I think I'm going to sew my signatures to this piece of paper and then glue it down. I think that's how I'll do it. So we'll have, we will have signature, signature on that crease, and then two pages. And I'll show you how to make the pages as well. Our pages will be. Eight inches our pages will be so we want to make our pages eight and a half by eight and a half and a half by eight and a half eight and a half by eight eight and a half by eight so let's just make those and I'll show you all the offcuts because we'll make um, tags and stuff out of them so they won't go to waste. Okay, put that down. Yeah. 
and on the eight and a half side, so it's eight and a half that way. Let me just put this out for a sec. At the eight and a half side, we will score at eight. Fold. Eight and a half side, score at eight. And fold. So, this is how our pages go. down and put the tape in the middle that way we've got glue either side So the hinge side to the side that hasn't got a hinge, and glue those two together. Didn't do that very straight, did we? We'll re recrease it. Recrease it. We will crease it again. Let's just. Goodness me. Get this straight. <laughs> Doesn't want to play the game. So that gives you a sleeve like this. It is eight by eight, and that will, once this is glued in, we'll put our signatures together. And first, once that's glued in, then just snip the mite of the corners on these, which will make it easier. All the pages to slip on. So yeah, signatures first and then we'll put these together but these slide on and glue onto those hinges like so which gives you your page but as I said we won't put those in until we've got our signatures down so make two of those so they are eight and a half by eight um, score on the eight and a half side that half inch so that gives you the flap glue the flap to the side that doesn't have a flap and that will make a sleeve to go on here um, I will organize my signatures now and come back to you in the next video and show you how I do the the signatures um, because they are an odd side they are the eight by eight or seven and a half by seven and a half whatever they are um, 
we will glue two pieces of copy paper together like we did uh, the cover, the wrapping cover for the book um, and then we'll um, trim it down to 16. But that's the next video. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. And it will be tomorrow because my granddaughter's gone home. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.